All right, let's learn a little something about making our maps look pretty and work well. Um, one of those things is an overview map, so showing where on the planet our main map is from. So we've got what we want to end up with, with uh, an overview map of where Wisconsin is in um, what I say, the, what I call the middle 48. Um, so let's let's delete that. I'm showing where we're. That's where we're going to end up with. Let me show you how we got there. Um, this is where you started out. Uh, you had your your regular kind of arc map session. You've got a data frame where you've added your data. Um, I got roads and a shaded relief here. All that's part of the the layers data frame. So that's this area. That's our, our window down on the planet. Right there, we've got uh, Wisconsin our data with inside of it. Now to make an overview um, on our on our map. And note by the way that I'm in in the layout view here. So you're used to working in the data frame view. Once you switch to making a map, you want to switch into the layout view and look at a, a piece of paper here. So I want to add another window onto the planet, so another data frame. So I can do that in ArcMap. I can go up to Insert and have the option of adding another data frame. So I'm going to do that. I end it with a, a blank one here. Then I'm going to move down to the corner. Um, don't critique my layout here. This is just getting started. Um, so it's a blank view down on the planet. Now over my table of contents, uh, I've got my, my first data frame called layers. I'm going to collapse that so I can see the new data frame here that I've added. And right now it has no data in it. So let's, let's add some data. Uh, uh, notice first though that it, there's what's called an active data frame. It either shows up in bold here or it's got the blue um, squares around the outside. So I can switch to active data frames to let ARC know which one it's supposed to be acting on. So in this new data frame, I want it active. So when I add data, it'll go into that data frame. So I'm going to go to our data library and find a state boundary file here. Um, I got a couple options. I'm going to use the simplified uh, dissolve version. Add that. Now I see that it gets added down here to my new data frame. So let's let's um, zoom in uh, to the middle 48 here, and uh, I've got a, a plot Cree projection that I started out with. So I'm going to switch that. I'm going to right click on the data frame, go to its property windows. Remember that a lot of the options within Arc are buried in the right click. Uh, <clears throat> it'll most likely come up on this general tab, and I want to switch to what's called the extent indicators. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm going to switch the coordinate system. Let's do that first. Excuse me. So let's go um, for North America, or for the U.S. I'm going to look, find something under the continental, North America. And if I scroll through here, uh, I'm going to find a couple different options for the contiguous 48. I'm just going to pick one of these. It's not that important for this overview map. All right, and I get a little bit nicer shape for uh, North America. Now I want to indicate here where Wisconsin is. Now I have a couple options. Uh, I'm going to show you um, one, which is these extent indicators, and uh, talk a little bit about the second option. So I'm going to go back in the properties for this data frame, and I'm going to switch to a different tab, to this extent indicators tab. Now you want to read through this to get a better idea of what it's doing, uh, but what I want to do is choose one of the other data frames, I could have three or four, to show its extent on this data frame. So I'm going to move this from the left column to the right column. Uh, I could uh, change how this frame is going to look. So I could click here. Notice the default is this pretty obnoxious thick red. Um, probably something you want to change. Say OK. Let it draw and I see my extent rectangle here. So it's really clear on the lower 48 where Wisconsin is. So that's your first option. Your second would be to, to use the boundary uh, boundary file for Wisconsin and change its color. That would probably a bit of, look a little bit nicer than this extent rectangle. All right, there you go. How to create an overview and show uh, where on that overview your main uh, map is, is, is from. Good luck.